Hi guys, this is Andrew Burgess from NetTuts, and in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to use the Mustache Templating Library. As you can see, Mustache is available for quite a few languages. I'm here on the homepage, uh, mustache.github.com. We're going to use the JavaScript implementation. Um, you can see here, mustache.js is what we'll be using. And you can get the raw JavaScript file right there. Just grab that link and uh, link to it in the script tag like I've done here. And uh, we'll get going. There's a lot I want to show you in our short five minutes, so I'm going to dive right into it. First off, we need some data that we're going to um, render. So let's start with a name. We'll just say uh, some Tuts Plus sites, and then we'll have an array of sites. We can say a net Tuts and a PSD Tuts and um, Mobile Tuts, that'll do for now. And then we need to start creating a template. So a template just has to be a string. You can put it, I've seen some people uh, put it in a script tag with just a type of uh, text slash must ask template, something like that, um, and then just grab that HTML. Um, we'll just put in a string because that's fine for what we need. So um, whenever you want to reference something within the data, you just use the mustache tags which are uh, double curly braces and then you just have the key of the item you want to get from the data so as you might guess when we uh, render this HTML here via mustache dot to HTML we pass it a template and we pass it the data and then um, we'll just say uh, document.writeHTML, save that. I've got this file open right here. I'll refresh it, and there's that h1. Let's iterate over that um, array now. So we'll open up an unordered list, and then in here, um, oh wait, but outside the list tags, uh, the list item tags, we want to use a block, and a block simply starts with a hash, you put a hash before the name of the key, and on this side, you put a slash before the name of the key, just like opening and closing tags, and those will iterate over, um, well in this case we're going to iterate over an array, we can also use those to get inside of um, nested objects, or we'll look at functions in a minute if I, we have time, um, and then in here, so because this array we're just going to use the implicit iterator, a dot, and that will create a list item for everything within the site's array. And if I refresh this, you can see we've got that right there. Let's look at one more thing, and that's creating a, uh, a lambda to um, tweak our data a bit. We'll call this URL. It's going to be a function. And the way this works with mustache.js, and we have to return a function, and mustache will pass this function text and a renderer. The text is going to be whatever is in between the URL block tags, and um, we'll, let's put those in right here. So we'll just say hash URL, and on this side of it, slash URL. So the text is going to be everything right here, but this is not going to be rendered text, that's going to be the mustache template. So the renderer will be a function that will render that for us. So let's say text slash render text, and then let's create another variable here. Um, we'll call that URL, and that's going to be the text. We're going to trim it just in case. We're going to go to lowercase. Um, then let's split it at the words tuts plus and just grab the first piece of that. So we're just getting the first name of the site. And then we can just tack tutsplus.com on the end of that. And then let's just return whatever we want. So we can say href um, plus url pl plus uh, oops that and then we'll say plus text plus our closing a tag and if we save that and refresh this page you can see that now we have links and uh, let's look at these links right here and you can see that each one of them goes to their appropriate site. So that is a really, really, really quick look at the Mustache Templating Library. 